Hi, I'm Nick Baker, and right now we're, we're dealing with medical Qigong, or movement therapy. So, for this stage of healing, or this type of pain perhaps, what we're working with is working a lot with what's called blood stasis, or a longer and more Western medicine way of, as, of referring to this is prostaglandin dysregulation uh, with platelet adhesion. Now this one is often, if it starts, let's say you have pain that starts with this as a main contributing factor, you probably have a history of something like, oh, I got in a car wreck or an accident or had some sort of physical trauma and the pain never went away or it came back after a period of years and then all of a sudden maybe I couldn't sleep or it got worse or so on. Um, now this could also be another way of getting into this is that you had a different initial factor that glommed on with this one. Like let's say you had very high levels of nitric oxide in your body, you're stressed out, you're running around going crazy, your liver's angry and inflamed, and high levels of nitric oxide will start changing the qualities of the blood, inhibiting the types of prostaglandins that do anything except make your blood clot more. Basically making those little platelets start adhering more and glomming up your blood until, I don't know, your liver might look like a uh, an oil filter that hasn't been changed in years. You know, that's a, not a great thing. The idea here, the basic strategy for the stage is to move blood. Now, hot foot soaks are a great tool for this as well. Um, but here for movements, we've got maybe three movements here that'll be tools for you to really boost up, also helping the heart quite a bit, but boosting up blood flow and circulation. The first one of these is just a warm up. And it looks a little silly, so don't go doing this at a bus stop, please. All right, it's good in your home, you know, or in private, or around people that are like, okay, I get what they're doing. I want you to take your arms into the air, and I want you to do this nice and easy kind of bicycle pedaling in the air. Or sometimes like you're grabbing a bunch of fruit. There's various versions of this uh, that are very old. I would sometimes refer to picking peaches, you know, and you can definitely get why. Now, as we're doing this, it's also important, especially if you have high blood pressure, to be sighing out. So breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. And trying to use abdominal breathing, meaning you're breathing in as if your lungs are in your belly. As your diaphragm starts moving down lower, as you breathe like this, then it actually takes a little pressure off your heart. I mean, it's a big old muscle, and it'll start pushing blood a bit. And here, we're bringing blood up. So go ahead and keep going until you're like, okay, that's enough. And then let your arms hang down. And you're gonna find, oh, my arms feel heavier, right? I feel a little rush of blood into my hands. It's okay, that's what we want in this case. Now, the warm-up phase is that movement. And after that, Let's go into this first true movement to get some blood moving through your body. For this one, let your arms come up, floating up, all the way up, breathing in as you come up. And as you breathe out, like a sigh, breathing out through your mouth, your arms go down, breathing in and up, breathing out and down. Nice and easy. Now another thing you can add, and I'll back up a lot so you can see, is you can come up on the, the balls of your feet here. In fact, maybe you can see it better if I'm over here. Breathing in and coming up on the balls of your feet as you rise up. So breathing in and up, and out and down. So I'll get a little closer again here. Breathing in and up, and floating down as you exhale going at the speed of your breath. Uh, that's important here. Don't go fast, don't rush through it, but take your time and keep your focus on the breath and then pacing the movement to the speed of your breath. Now if you can't do the, the rising up on the heels and down the heels at the same time as this, it's okay to separate them. You can grab a little chair uh, and hold on to it for balance and then just practice breathing in, rising up and breathing out and rising down. Or if you want to just use the hands, or let's say you're, you have to sit in a chair, it's okay to go up and down just with the arms. 
So that's the first like, true move past the warm-up. And uh, this one, sometimes we just call it rising. Uh, you know, rising up uh, for the heart. It's uh, considered five-phase breathing. You know, the name doesn't matter so much as that you understand how to do it. For our second movement, now we're going to hold our hands up in the air. Uh, for this one, it's bending the knees, and then you're going to place the hands up like you're holding up the roof, like so. I'm going to back up so you can see me better here. Holding up here, and fingers pointing towards each other. I want you to look up and just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Something that's easy to do while sitting down. And, uh, and listen to your body here. You don't want those shoulders now too tight. Let them melt down while you also hold that, hold those hands up. You, know, you can even look up through the hands and just breathe. Now here, if I come back a little bit more, you can kind of see I can even bend the legs here or lean back as another option. This becomes much more physical. So listen to your body and what it's going to say to do. So after you hold this, You'll feel this, often in your shoulders a little bit. Then I want you to do is for our final kind of movement, well this is actually more of a visualization type of Qigong. You're going to let those hands hang down. And here, you'll feel that blood rushing into the hand, especially if you're holding that pose for, you know, five to eight breaths or more. Just let those hands hang down by your sides. Close your eyes and just get that nice deep breathing going. And I want you to feel that pulse pounding through your hands, all the way down into your fingertips, through the palms of your hands. And just take a moment and see, where else in my body can I feel this? Can I feel it in my forearms? Can I feel that, that, blood, that blood pumping down through my legs, into the soles of my feet? It's really taking a moment to really look inside and feel what's going on. Now if you have a lot of chronic pain, this can be a little frightening because you might be in a place where you try not to feel what's going on. You don't want to get swept away in it. But practice noticing what's happening in your body. How do you feel in a detached manner? You can note it, but just casually observe it. Don't let it carry you away, but don't ignore that it's happening. Uh, more connection to what's happening inside your body is better. So this is the uh, this is the third portion for movement uh, for basically when the prostaglandins and platelet adhesion levels are a little off. So we can start moving blood properly. And again, hot foot soaks are very good here, and just moving blood in general. Heat is your friend. Now, when that pain that starts in the morning and and might might ease up throughout the day. Once that starts fading quite a bit, then that's a good indication that, uh, hey, we're making progress. So, again, I'm Nick Baker, and this is for prostaglandin dysregulation with platelet adhesion.